I'm going to show you really quickly how to set up a webhook for your next automation. It's really simple to make. So you would go and log in and go to create a new scenario. And once you create a new scenario, you're going to be presented with some options. But all we need is webhooks. And we have different types of hooks that we can actually do, but we want to create a webhook. And we click on the button here. And what happens is, you know, there's other options. You can actually do more advanced settings as well. But the option that you want to be able to do is webhook and, and you want to name that webhook. Something that you would actually relate to it uh, in the future in case you get more um, webhooks in the future. And you want to be able to keep those separated so that you don't have to be wondering what webhook goes to what for different automation that you actually have. So I'm just gonna name this for my lead magnet for my main website. And I like to use hyphens to be able to separate things out. And once I am done with this, I'm just gonna hit save. And once you hit save, you get the webhook name and ability to be able to put that URL anywhere you need that accepts a webhook to be able to accept different data sent to that webhook.